one of the biggest enemies you will ever face will come in the form of worry and anxiety. And in life, I'm sure we can all agree that there will be some things that are in your control that you'll worry about. There will be things that are out of your control that you will worry about. And while it's so easy to fall into a state of worry, in one of his teachings, Jesus gave us the message that we should not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. And I believe that the Lord was telling us to be present in the moment, to be at peace today, to be joyful today. If you spend all your time and energy worrying, then you will always magnify the lack in your life or the pain in your life. Worry is all to do with if. If I can't pay this, if I don't get treated, if they find something. But instead, you should choose to adopt a new attitude where you do not worry about tomorrow. An attitude where you're thanking the Lord for today. You're thanking God for his goodness, even while you're waiting on your miracle. You're thanking God for what he has provided even though there are things that you lack. When you do this, then you magnify Jesus Christ instead of magnifying your problem. But here's what the Bible says in Matthew 6, verses 25 through 27. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food? and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? The Bible also says in Matthew 6, verse 34, Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. I believe that the Lord wants us to stop worrying, to stop pondering and wondering about what might happen tomorrow. Stop spending your effort and your energy thinking about what could happen tomorrow or even what should happen. You are blessed in this very moment and on this day. One pastor said, don't borrow trouble. And that means don't worry about all the what ifs that we could face someday. What if there is a health crisis, a financial setback, or, or even some unimaginable type of problem? Don't borrow trouble for the future, but instead walk by faith and not by sight. So I encourage you today to stay present with the Lord. Stay present in your mind and in your soul. Do that by acknowledging Psalm 118 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we praise you. We put all focus and attention on you. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, we magnify you above. We magnify you above the troubles of tomorrow. We magnify you and put you above every health crisis, every financial setback, and every problem. Father God, we will not worry about tomorrow because your word says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. You are with us, Lord, and we are grateful as your children. We're grateful that you're with us and your grace is always available and sufficient for our needs. We choose to focus on the healer Instead of the sickness, we choose to focus on the provider 
rather than the lack. We choose to focus on the way maker instead of the obstacles ahead. We choose to focus on you, King Jesus, because we find favor in you. We find protection in you and we find mercy in you, Lord. Father, we sincerely ask that you would open your ears to hear our cry. Give us a mind filled with peace. And during those times in which my heart is heavy, Lord, I pray that you would make my burdens light. Whenever the attacks of the enemy are many, I pray that you would defend me, Lord. Fight for me and for my family. God, I thank you for fighting my battles. Though the adversary prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, I confess that I will be kept safe by the blood of Jesus Christ. God will intervene in my circumstances. God will take away the worry and give me peace in my heart. May you intervene in all my affairs and show your might. David cried in Psalm 35 verse 1 and said, Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. And so today, I too will call upon the name of the Lord so that he may plead my cause. I will call on the name of the Lord when I need divine intervention. I will ask you, my Father in heaven, to step in just as you did for Daniel, just like you did for Elijah, and even the way you did for Elisha. We invite you, Lord Jesus, to move in a mighty way. Move in a mighty way in our lives. Lord, clear every trap that the devil has hidden in my path. I pray that you would guard my mind against discouraging and depressing thoughts. I rebuke all thoughts of worry and anxiety about what tomorrow holds, about what the future may hold. Instead, I choose to have peace because I will have faith in you, Lord. And when the enemy throws darts of confusion and depression, doubt, and even despair, when he tries to weaken my faith or steal my joy, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will protect my mind with the helmet of salvation. Even in this present moment, if I do struggle to live with the uncertainty of this world and all that is going on, I pray that you would help me to keep my mind focused on you. I bless your holy name, and I thank you for hearing this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Matthew 6, verses 25 through 27. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life. 